Hi, my name is Andy Colborn. I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching the Riedel Director How-To video series. In this video, we will show you how to program the key function Call to Port. Before we program our key panels, let's talk about some situations where we want to use this function. The first case that comes to mind is point-to-point -point communication. This is a private conversation between two users on your intercom system. Let's pretend we are in a live show environment and your front of house audio engineer, Jonathan, needs to talk to your A2, Ryan, about microphone placement for an upcoming presenter. He wants to have this discussion in private, away from other party lines or conferences on his panel to be discreet. Using the call to port function, we can create discreet point-to-point -point communications for conversations that do not need to be broadcasted over party lines or conferences. We can also use the call to port function as a god mic or stage announce. This is a very common workflow in events and theater environments. This gives a stage manager, production manager, or director the ability to address the crew over the loudspeaker system with a push of a button on their panel. Let's take a look at these two different examples and how to program our panels accordingly. The first and more common method is the drag and drop method. This is where we'll select a panel to show up on the right side. Here we have Jonathan's panel and we'll go ahead and find Ryan's panel and drag and drop the port onto any open key of the panel. This will pull up both panels on the right side, so we can program them simultaneously. We need to make sure we add a button to Ryan's panel so that Ryan can also talk back to Jonathan. You can also right click on any key, add function, and call to port. This will pull up the properties where we need to select the destination. In Director 8.0, we have duplex call options. The four options are Duplex call. The cross point is set and deleted synchronously with the call. Isolate. This blocks all other calls to the destination port as long as this call is active. When calling a control panel, the microphone at the destination will automatically be activated and the audio routed to the calling port. Isolate self. Blocks all other calls to the local port while this call is active. And auto listen from destination. This activates the auto listen function for this call. The return path is activated automatically and stays open until it is deactivated by using the auto listen off command from either side of the call. Duplex call options eliminates the need for a user to click to respond and their microphone is already open and ready for communication. Let's look at the God mic or stage announce example. If our director needs to address the crew over the loudspeaker system, we select our audio output that we have designated to be our god mic, and we simply drag and drop the port onto the panel of our choosing. Now this call to port command is ready to go, and we have a god mic on our director panel. Remember to edit your auto, momentary, or latching key options in the properties of the key. If you want to know more about those options, please watch our how-to video on those key options. Thank you for watching these examples of the call to port functions. Feel free to share your workflow in the comments and remember to subscribe to Riedel Communications to see more tutorials and new content in the future.